Oh, you're a beautiful thing. Listen, you might love these. I'm a guy that loves fireworks, but I have had dogs in the past that have been mortified, that, that have been absolutely like hit the deck, run and hide, PTSD. I am terrified of sounds. As a professional dog trainer and as a, as a dog dad, I've personally had to deal with this, but also dealt with it with a ton of clients' dogs. I've raised and helped raise hundreds, thousands of puppies, realistically, and, and also Pipa, my lovely assistant for today, our newest, hi, hi little Pipis, our newest little rescue dog from Costa Rica. She's gonna be our, uh, our helper today and we're gonna make sure that she's confident, as confident as she can be for Canada Day is coming up, Canadian, uh, but also 4th of July, not that we're crossing the border, but maybe you're from America. So what you're gonna need for this is not a flat collar, not a collar that your dog can quite easily slip out of. If your dog has a harness that they can slip out of, a gentle lead or a halty, even a prong collar can let go. Something we do, we, we can't have that happen. We can't have the dog, because if the dog goes into panic mode and wants to run away, regardless of even if it's to their kennel, we don't want that to happen, okay? We want to keep them with us, as engaged with us as possible. And so what we're gonna need for that is, I, I, I'm a big fan of using a slip leash that's going to not allow the dog to get away from us. Has a little stop tab here as well. Uh, and if you don't have one of those and you just have a regular leash, all oh, these gorgeous dog style leashes, you can just take the end of your leash, okay? And throw it through the handle and then put the dog around like this. Now the problem with this is, is that if it, if it loosens up, it can just fall off the dog's head. So you just wanna maintain a little bit of upwards leash tension without actually pulling up on the dog so that way they don't get away. You're gonna see me use that. Now, the other thing is that we're gonna use food and treats. Now, I didn't feed her this morning or yesterday in preparation for today. Now, some of you are like, oh, God, I'm calling the SBCA. Fasting, especially for dogs that are eating processed food, this is carnivore, they're not paying me for this, although I wouldn't mind carnivore if you're watching. Um, this is rated top dog food in the world, Canadian, synthetic free. Awesome stuff, there's also uh, the treats in my pocket, freeze dried liver, single ingredient treats are my favorite. Now, she's a fresh fed dog, she's a raw fed dog, I'll still give her dog food too, it makes it way easier than pulling meat balls out of my pocket, that's for damn sure. But I will roll up in par free um, fresh food as well, pre-made, pre raw or DIY raw, if it's ground up into little meatballs and use it that way. So fresh food or not. Now that's a really important part, whether you have uh, a new dog, a rescue dog, whatever, if you're not adding any fresh food into your diet, your dog's diet or your diet, really important things like green vegetables, blend them up, mask them with something like a, a, an egg, raw egg. Um, sardines, fats, healthy fats, MCT oil, which is just fancy coconut oil or coconut oil. It's brain food. So that way, if your, your dog's not foggy, you all know what it's like. <laughs> Don't lie to me. Don't you lie to me about eating junk food, right? You eat a bunch of junk food. I eat three, my wife is probably listening, three quarters of a bag of Starburst yesterday. And I literally like, uh, as I'm just driving and just eating Starburst after Starburst, and I got to where I was going and was just like, oh, what, what, what am I doing? What am I doing here again? It was, it was terrible, it was terrible. So <laughs> by adding fresh food, by adding uh, fruits and vegetables and all that into their diet helps prepare them. Now also the other thing to prepare them Products by Adored Beast. Again, not paid to say this, but this is a diarrhea band-aid in a bottle. Gut Soothe. So you can have this on hand, but you can preemptively give it to your dog. It's an anti-inflammatory, gut soothing uh, thing. Prebiotics, probiotics, digestive enzymes. I don't know if all of that is in there, but it's basically, um, it's a prebiotic probiotic with a combination of herbs in there as well. They also have digestive enzymes and the best products on the market. If you're not gonna supplement with other things, definitely supplement with that. So then the last thing that we need is a cap gun. 
uh, and caps and ideally an assistant. I have my wonderful assistant here, but if you were had to do this by yourself, you could do it via Zoom if you have two computers and watch the dog's reaction. This works way better uh, with someone else, or you can do this outside. We're gonna do it inside today and then move outside as well. Um, maybe not in this video, but it, honestly, you'll have the foundation, but if you tie your dog to something and then drop food, we're gonna compare, we're going to uh, combine rather what was once a negative sound, the sound of a popping gun or, or whatnot, uh, to a positive, the food. So that's why I fasted her, because if she is full, this isn't gonna go anywhere. This isn't gonna be helpful at all. So um, I can tie her to something, drop a bunch of food, so that way when I am 100 yards away, I can still see her, shoot the little cap gun, which outside is gonna sound like nothing 100 yards away. Still might be scary. If it's scary for the dog, I move away. If it's not scary for the dog, I move closer. And what's scary? The dog is, uh, in this protocol, allowed to look at the thing, but if they look and then stop eating and back away, I'm too close. I gotta move way, way, way further away. Double your distance, 200 yards away. Um, again, this is why it's really helpful to have a friend. If there, you have another dog, that if you have a friend that has a dog that can be there that's really confident and you've already done this with, and it's proven to not care, and your dog likes that dog, the more fun your dog can be having when the negative sound happens, and you pair that amazing interaction with the other dog, playing tug, you get food and treats, two dogs together, sometimes that can be an issue, so careful of that, know your dogs, but combining an epic experience with once, with, which, with, what was once a negative connotation, negative sound. So I've got Mo, lovely assistant. My beautiful wife, Mo dog, and it's coming in. There's eight rounds here. She's gonna go into the other room. Come on in, Mama Bear, welcome. So uh, Mo already knows what to do, but she's gonna go into the other room and I'm gonna go five, four, three, two, one, zero on zero. She's gonna shoot the cap gun and I'm going to drop a bunch of food uh, and interact with the dog and observe. And then I'm gonna tell her she's in the other room, the door is gonna be closed and she's firing into a closet. Then she's gonna open the door, then open the next door and eventually work her way, ideally into the room based on how the dog is responding. Hey, and you'll guide me and give me instructions. And I'll give you right? instructions the whole way. Right. Yeah, perfect. Okay, so what I'm gonna start doing is I'm going to start interacting with the dog and I'm gonna start getting her a little bit more excited about this and observe and watch how she is responding. So there's a little bit of food. Five, can you hear me? Five, four, three, two, one. So, so nothing, I couldn't even hear that. There's no way you heard that either. Okay, come closer, open the door. Uh, on zero. Okay, three, two, one, zero. So, I don't know if you could hear that. I could hear it that time and no response from her. Okay, open the next door, please. Now, this could be literally like the person is like upstairs. You could do this where you're outside and they're inside and they're slowly opening the window more and more. Three, two, one, zero. So nothing, no response, she didn't lift her head, she's still hunting for the food. I'm throwing multiple pieces of food, so that way she, and it's kind of scattering them, so that way she's really hunting for these. Three, two, one, zero. Okay, coming closer. Three, two, one, zero. Three, two, one, zero. So nothing yet, okay, come right into the room. Or at least to there, yeah. Three, two, one, zero. Great, so her ears are like twitching and stuff like that. She's a little curious if she goes towards the sound, even better, we're not gonna fire when she goes towards it. Okay, so now go back out a little bit, just in on the other side of the curtain, okay? Uh, I wasn't counting, but I think we should still have one left. Now, when her head was down, she was much more uh, curious by all this. Let's see what she does when the food's not on the ground. Three, let's go out into the other room a little bit. Ready the door open? Yeah, leave the door open, but go closer. Go at least 15 feet away. Yeah, okay, you're good there. Okay, three, two, one, zero. Okay, coming closer. 
So no response, and then I can open my hand and feed for that. Okay, three, two, one, zero. So she still wants the food more than anything. Great, thanks so much. You're welcome. Love you, bye. Okay, and that's it. Now that obviously went extremely well. Um, if there's any sort of like, huh, what now? Um, just send them further away. It's about repetition. It's about practice. You practice this, you know, as many, as many times, as many times a day um, as you can, which if you want your dog to be really solid with this stuff, then that's going to be, get your old Gucci out of there. Um, then that's going to be many, many, many times a day. Uh, and there's just no way around it. Multiple times a day. If this is the only way that your dog is eating, then they, here people. If this is <laughs> if this is the only way that your dog is eating, they will learn to actually like loud noises. Then you just increase the loud noise, make friends with someone who goes to the gun range. If you go there, um, a lot of a lot of shooters are 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 great. You know, people that like gun ranges, a lot of fun, very uh, helpful. Maybe make friends with your local PD department that are going to the range, whatever you do, whatever it takes to increase that volume of the noise, but this is an amazing way to start. Okay, questions, comments, put them below, like, subscribe, do all that wonderful stuff. I'll be back at you with it.